welcome back njengoba uthembisa kwami urefilwe ukhona namhlanje ngizokhuluma naye ngifuna ukwazi ukuthi ongubani you know the girl behind the beauty urefilwe sabona kinjani nonkhona i'm very well you know sikubone gracing some of the biggest stages as going mm, in south africa mm, mm. miss sa yes tell me about that what was the experience like well the miss sa experience was phenomenal we gum nandi but mm. for me i think what's important is it's a dream people being nalo from a very young age yeah. at the age of 6 years old i could see myself there so for me i think it was beyond phenomenal like even when people ask me about the experience i'm just like You know, for me it wasn't even about ex- an experience yeah. it was about you know living that dream that you've always wanted actually seeing your dream right in front of your face so for me now that's what it was about and it was amazing amazing yeah well south africa knows you as the first princess you mm, know uh mm-hmm. we we miss sa yeah mfuno was with you or feel we ngubani you know not the refilwe that we see on magazines oh, the refilwe we read about <laughs> who is refilwe the upbringing take mm. us there well me yeah, you know what i'm such a chill girl even mangilala they yeah. they call me the farm girl or the prom spring you know always teasing us about our little town mm-hmm. that's that's where i'm from very humble place people who actually respect their culture yeah. you know people who are focused on just building you know a family orientated place so i mean it's always been amazing i grew up at bronco spring yeah. That's where I started I went to Broncos Bay primary like everyone you know Ebangale yes. and then eventually there was a time when my mom said you know what you have a choice do you want to stay at Broncos Bay or do you want to go elsewhere and I decided you know what I've seen it Broncos Bay it's taught me all the values that one needs to know especially mm-hmm. when it comes to to manners who's pataga actually you know I've learned all that from home so now it was time for me to to go out there and see what the world had in store and then that's when I decided to come to Pretoria uh-huh. of which I was born in Pretoria Okay. and then mangbuya you know it was just like you're back at home but it's a totally you know total different experience because manje it's it's a bigger place than a mm-hmm. promise spray mm-hmm. you know there's more cars than a promise spray because <laughs> honestly you sit in the house and there's no car and you come here it's even hard to cruelly robot because you're like okay which side do i turn because you know you have that small mind but i was really too broad on it and the love for modeling mm. how did you or when did you find that Well what happened is every time I saw I've played it was during November or December. Yeah. Besbugel TV like any family would back in the day we era baba sits on a kuma lobo pigi su. And that's that's what happened. Tinika I would watch TV and but while the girls were modeling yeah. on that big stage uh-huh. Mina I was in front of the TV doing the same thing about Yenza. Mba copy said. So that's when my parents were like okay lo mtana lo shu tie tanda le ntai bona because I'd imitate them. Uh-huh. And then eventually my mom decided you know what is angisa school in say modeling she actually surprised me i remember i came back from school she was like as in i got you a new school to go do what you like and what i like about it is they didn't start from the makeup phase because i think mm-hmm. girls think to be beautiful you need to you know fake makeup or have the long hair yes. i still went as natural as i was because i was mm-hmm. young mm-hmm. but what they taught us was you know how to take care of yourself yeah. as a young girl make sure your nails are clean make mm-hmm. sure you wash your face before mm-hmm. you sleep like don't sleep with makeup we yeah. know what's going to happen yeah. You know it's just jealous so I really valued the school how to walk shoulders back you know neck up high plus okay. you know ning in the bell so really lucky like, really <laughs> advantage you yeah. see I've got the long, long neck so yeah. yeah that's where it started and from there I knew with I wanted to do this for the rest of my life Talk to me a beauty mm-hmm. how do you define beauty You know with beauty I think one thing I've learned yeah. uh Tina most of the time during the Miss SA competition which mm-hmm. I still had to learn mm-hmm. you know it was an experience for me where I felt like I'm with 12 beautiful girls yes. you understand yeah. but at the same time upega born and you like but nyam rula or you nyam rula you know you, you don't because you think that's what judges are looking at uh-huh. and then eventually as I was going through the rounds mm-hmm. obviously you want to know what got you so far yeah. and the judges were honest they were like refillers because you're so real you kept to yourself yeah. and i think for me that you know that actually was you know it appeared brighter than just the outside because yeah it's on the outside we're all different mm-hmm. and if it was comparing a logo then you're going to have you know a self esteem issues yeah. but if you look at the, the inside not everyone can be the the, uh, the real selves not everyone is as authentic or as approachable yeah. so when i found out that that's what i had that's when i knew with actually that's beauty knowing who you are no with uzazi no with who we are and don't try fake it or pretend who you are so 
Yeah, that's that for me is beauty from the inside, knowing where you come from, and then the rest is just extra. When you 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 were crowned, yeah, um, uh, the first princess, yeah, yeah. Miss SA. I know that you were studying L and B. Yes. Talk to us about that because <laughs> I, I, I don't really understand. Mm-mm. No, ma, make me understand. You see, modeling in LLB, yeah. When how do you make it? Well, I've always had love for politics. We will debate about okay. NC, about anything politics. We will debate for okay. hours and hours because I've always felt like if you're going to tell me something, come with facts. Don't just tell me. So, mm-hmm. but that's when I knew it's okay. I definitely want to, want to be in politics. Mm-hmm. I was very involved in a lot of leadership things. Okay. So that's when I was like, okay. Okay, you know what maybe a country needs you know a young woman who's willing <laughs> <laughs> to go the extra mile so yeah. that's when i decided i want to do law and not politics okay. because i felt like in order to lead a country know the laws so if mm-hmm. i'm going to start implementing or changing laws or creating laws for you a country nice let me that. know and understand them because unfortunately some of our political leaders don't even know what's you know uh, in the constitution but yeah. yet they want to help the people so mm-hmm. i wanted to understand our law now that you know it better you understand people better no we see you know law is not just about what's on paper people are real people yeah. and what you put on paper has to at least kind of match up to that so that's when i decided you know, for formalities mm-hmm. and Uti one day, and when I don't have it, because I'm not going to be thin for the rest of my life. <laughs> yes. So um, that's what I'd like to do when, you know, my modeling career is eventually ending and I need to give other girls, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, a chance. Yeah. Who do you look up to? You know, I mean, you inspire a lot yeah, of young people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in the end, we understand that we already feel it. What inspires you? Who inspires you? Yeah. And yeah well apart from my mom and my dad because yeah. when they've been there you know from well my mom's been there from day one my mm-hmm. dad was a very determined young guy even though he didn't have the opportunity to do, to go to school yeah. but i saw with before when he passed away he had you know achieved so much to the point where even people who've been to school i don't think will get yeah. to where he was so that motivated me a lot but i'd say for me patrice mitzipe mm-hmm. um He's so giving and at the same time, he's willing to explore because he also did a little bit as well. So okay. I think that's where it comes from as well. But he ventured into other things. He, he law wasn't the last thing. Now he's in mining. He owns a soccer club. Yeah. He even has Miss Mami Lodisa announced, which I entered. And that's when I kind of, I feel you kind of get to see Pichis even even more. How he's so giving, always, you know, and he works hard. Mm. Even the people that work for him will tell you they work so hard. So for me, I think most of the qualities of success and what you need to do to be successful I've seen from him. Yeah. You work very hard and yeah. your schedule is so hectic. Yeah. But you want to so pumula no miscarty to yourself. What do you do? I won't lie. How thing there's no time to pumula or to sleep. <laughs> yeah. There isn't, honestly. I think ever since I've been crowned, I've been looking for that time. Like, yeah. I just want to relax Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. but there's no time to relax because i'm signed to an agency um so i'm a model that's what i do to 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 feed myself Mm -hmm. to get paid Mm -hmm. and then i've got my south africa and then i'm a student and i'm still a daughter and a sister and i can't kaya so there's not much time for yourself so i'm i'm hoping that this december a miracle will happen and i'll just be on the couch doing nothing future plans um, future plans. Well, you guys are the first to hear this. Okay. I'm going to Miss Universe. Uh, I'm leaving for America at the end of the month. So yeah. I'm hoping I do super well there so that when I come back, I can just live in New York. Uh, but other than that, I also own my own NGO. Okay. Um, it's called the Princesses Foundation, which I started with the second princess from South Africa. Okay. And uh, from there, that's what we want to mentor young girls, mm-hmm. encourage them, and say, go for your dreams. Because most of the young people feel, oh, good, see, someone owes them something. But unfor- unfortunately, they need to realize to survive in this life, you need to start it by yourself. Yes. And unfortunately, only when you're successful, that's when people want to help you. So you need to work hard until you're successful in order, you know, to get people to come or want to work with you. So, yeah, those are my future plans. But I think for my short term goal right now, I'm focused on this universe and making sure I make my country proud. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank Talk you. to me in, in closing. Who, mm. You know, a young woman who yeah. looks up to you, who wants to follow Google industry or go your plan. What would you tell them? What would you encourage them? He in a funny buy into into this industry knowing. Well, one thing you need to know is 
a lot of heartbreak uzokala all the time okay. uh you need a lot of support because mm-hmm. what happens if you want to get in, especially in the entertainment industry i do believe that it's very cruel mm-hmm. so you need to be very strong and on top of that you need to know what you want in life because if you just say i'm going to go with what the wind or where the wind blows me it's just not going to work at all you need to know i want to be a model but i want to be in that agency after this agency i want to know that i want to be on this show and that show so you need to have goals that you've set and you know that's the direction you're wanting but if you're going to come to job or go to how thing and say whatever is going to lap you know drop on my lap i want to go with it and you get it you need to to have direction and you need to be focused so when you come to job like you know to no no play but you know work work all the time because there'll be people i mean before i got into the modeling industry for me to learn hard i got into a fake agency before mm-hmm. and they took my money wow. and that can crush your dream because here you are you're asking your mom for thousands of rands to be in a magazine mm-hmm. and this p- person is not even bringing it forth and those are the difficulties that you need to face so you need to know what you what's legit and you know make sure that you're serious with your craft and people will take you seriously and i feel like thank you so much you inspire pleasure. me i'm inspired i hope bongela baba peke kaya now will be inspired ngalo sitjela ke kuthi masifuna ngokulandela ku social media where do we find you Okay, right now uh, on Twitter I'm r underscore fifi underscore m. Okay. On Instagram I'm r underscore fifi, and then on Facebook refilwe simunye simunye. Kya bonga refilwe. Mzanzi Africa refilwe. I hope your story sake inspires you. You can be the change you want to see. Um, this is we've reached the end of the show. Kya bonga kakhulu everyone who's watching. Pindani join the footy scratch me slander line.